Hello internet, I'm aware that I look slightly like a wild animal because I have all my wet hair going on, please excuse me, but it is in line with the theme of this video which is to do with surviving long training runs, um, which is to do with surviving long training runs, be that a marathon, a half marathon, an ultra, anything in between. Um, from my experience there are some lessons that you learn and you only learn from doing it to be honest. So the first thing is your mental game. Um, this is something that ideally you should be building up before your run. You should try and force yourself to constantly think of it as a positive and manageable thing and not get overwhelmed, think of it as impossible. But on the morning of your run it is really easy to get freaked out by the mileage that you're about to face and so you need to kind of psych yourself up, you need to get yourself built up and before you can start questioning it you need to head out the door. Relating to this is actually the second piece of advice I have, which is try not to check your mileage every two minutes. It's really tempting, but it can really stress you out. If at all possible, if you're using a mapping app on your phone or something, just put it in your pocket and try to forget about it. If it's on your phone, turn off any bleeping, noisy things that distract you. It's also a really nice surprise if you've managed to hold off from looking at your mileage uh, and maybe do it by time instead. The third thing I want to cover is pacing yourself. Um, the whole point of training runs are to figure out things like what is your natural pace for a certain distance and when you should be taking your energy gels or your food, maybe points where you need to stop for the loo and that kind of stuff. But make sure more than anything that you don't go off too fast. A lot of people talk about when it comes to training for a marathon having negative splits, which is when you do the first half of your race slower than you do the second half. Make sure you use these training runs to see where you're comfortable and what pace you're comfortable maintaining for a really, really long time, like two, three, four hours plus. The fourth thing I want to draw your attention to is stomach related problems. I think people, particularly first time marathoners, are kind of blown away by this one um, but yeah your stomach can become very upset on longer runs particularly when you're consuming high fiber high energy food. This is why a lot of experienced seasoned runners will go on about the meals that they have a couple of days before avoiding certain things like curries and also if you find that it's a particular problem for you trying to map your route so that you have access to a public toilet or your own toilet you could do a loop. Uh, I'm sorry if people find this a little bit gross but it is one of the realities of training for a long distance run. It's nothing to be embarrassed about like if you if you're confused or a bit self-conscious about it talk to experienced marathoners um, trust me they will be in the same boat as you also on that note it's really handy to take a packet of tissues with you my last one is actually another physical one uh, it's one you want to be really really careful for because you don't think about it particularly if this is your first time and you're you're doing shorter distances this is something that you probably won't have come across and that's chafing for men they can have a lot of nipple problems, that's why everyone goes on about using loads of Vaseline because it's just to do with the friction and the running vests. There are pretty common areas to chafe, uh, I actually chafe like under my arm here, I get really bad chafing here, um, people can get it on their legs and their thighs as well. So just be really really careful if there's anywhere that you find is getting sore, lather it up, put Vaseline on when you're running, put Sudocrem on afterwards, you'll be fine and make sure that the stuff you choose to run in on your training runs and on the race day itself are things that are nice and breathable in that area. Those are just a few things that I wanted to cover in terms of long training runs. I know it's something that is a bit mythical really. You can go on forums and get some really really good advice like on Runner's World or Running Bug, which I will link both of those below. But it's always good to have this kind of advice from people who've experienced the training runs. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, please give the video a thumbs up. I would really appreciate it. And because this is a bit of a niche subject itself, please leave a comment below for other new runners if you're an experienced runner, saying maybe your own tips or experiences or things that you'd watch out for. I'm never really sure how to end these videos, but thank you so much Internetland for watching and I'll see you in my next video.